Welcome back to Julio's Kitchen Woman Cooler once more everyone and today's show I'm gonna make you hot wings with some type of uh, dips the first dip is gonna be like creamy sour and roasted garlic with some parmesan the other dip is the other one I'm just gonna make it like simple uh, the basic uh, buffalo wings alright so stay with me and I'll show you what's the prep for this and it's gonna be simple so I'm gonna give you a closer look to what it is there you go and all you can do is just add salt salt to it uh, it depends on how much this is optional guys it depends on how much salt you like on the food you add it and then with pepper okay there you go I like mine with lots of pepper oh. okay so we're gonna mix this in There you go. Now, where's my oil? And just a little bit of oil because this is gonna go into the oven for approximately, uh, probably 45 minutes to one hour. So what you want the oil for? It is because it won't stick and it'll be, uh, they'll cook faster, okay? So now we're gonna move this here. And you know what, it's a good idea also to put a little bit of oil on the pan, all right? And just, uh, if you have a brush, brush it. I'm just using my spatula. And this is it, guys. This is it for the first part because I'm trying to make my videos faster now. And you just spread them all around here. And this is it. These are gonna be our hot wings. And then I'll show you how the dipping uh, are gonna be created, all right? So into the oven, out, motherfucker. There you go. Into the oven for 45 minutes at 350 degrees. I'll see you in a bit with uh, the creation of the uh, dip, all right? Thank you. Okay, here I am, I'm back, and I'm gonna show you how to make this uh, roasted garlic dip. I'm gonna use this roasted garlic, I'll show you uh, earlier I'm gonna see if I can add it into the videos it all it is is this I roasted it I used one garlic head like this cut it from the top put some olive oil or whatever vegetable oil salt and pepper and put it in the oven wrap with foil paper okay and that's all it is one hour so I got this you squeeze it out of the uh, the whole onion and now I have here 75 milligrams of sour cream so this is gonna go in. Roasted garlic, you can add more, uh, lots of garlic guys. You can add two, three cloves of garlic, uh, whole gar uh, garlic head, if you like. It's up to you how much. Now we're gonna add to this, Parmesan cheese. Probably 30 grams of Parmesan cheese is gonna be thicken up the sauce. We're gonna use parsley. Probably three grams of parsley, and I uh, I have here uh, just a little piece of lime. You can see it, and just gonna squeeze a little bit of it. That's gonna create some acidity. You don't want to make it too runny. Now, salt and pepper. Now I'm gonna see. I have to take my gloves off. Here. Measure the salt. Don't go too crazy on it. Okay. Because if you need more, you can add it later. But if you have too much, you cannot take it out. And pepper, okay? Now, okay. What are we missing? What are we missing that you love so much? Spice, right? You want to spice it up? Let's spice it up. What do you prefer? You like uh, sauce? Or you like cayenne pepper? Is more, uh, to me, I prefer cayenne pepper. See, I always use cayenne pepper. Spice it up a little bit. Depends how much you want. There you go. So you're gonna create some color right there. And now we are, you know what? I'm gonna use my, I'm gonna whisk it. And look how that is changing. Let's see, there you go. And that's the dip, my friend. Ooh, look at that. 
Wait till the wings are ready and look at that. Yeah. We won't touch it too much because we don't want to create a liquid. Now is the, the uh, consistent is fine. All we need to do is taste it. I'm gonna uh, use my little spoon right here. Gonna taste it. Mmm, perfect. That is really, really good, guys. I'll see you in a bit with the uh, hot sauce. Okay, for the hot sauce, we're gonna use this. Everybody knows this sauce. It's called Frank's. I'm gonna, uh, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm at the Tyson actually, Frank's Red Hot sauce. This is the buffalo, but I'm going to spice it up a little bit. Cause this is, uh, that sauce is not that spicy enough, okay? I'll see you in a bit. Okay, like I mentioned, we're gonna uh, sort of mo modify this uh, Frank's Red Hot because this buffalo sauce, it's not as hard as I just wanted it to be. Okay, so, so all we're gonna do is just add the cayenne pepper, right? If you have another chilies, you can add them too. And also, uh, I'm gonna mix a little bit of, uh, cause I like to spice it up a little. Cholula sauce, this sauce is beautiful too. And if you have other type of sauce, you can add it. Okay, just don't overdo it. Cause you, you, you just don't wanna spice it up too much. Okay, here we go. So have we have an empty pot right here. And all we're gonna use is about like 30 to 40 grams of, uh, uh, if you prefer, you can use butter. I'm using margarine. And this is sprinkled a lot from the uh, black pepper I used to make the, uh, the, the, okay, don't worry about it. So add it. Once adding it, you can start turning the heat up a little bit. Remember, sauce is medium heat, all right? You wanna, you don't wanna burn the, uh, anything. Okay, here we go. So, now, what's next? I'm gonna add the sauce. Franks. Just about that much. And see these? Bottle contains, what, 350 mil? So we're adding probably 40, 50 mil, all right? We're not gonna make that much because this is, you know, me and my invite here, but we just, uh, well, a little bit more, why not? I can save some for later. There you go. So we got that in. Also, because we're gonna spice it up a little bit more. So we're gonna add this Cholula sauce. There you go. It, this is not too spicy, guys. Can I find it? Uh, find your uh, favorite sauce, and then let me add. It. Also, with our cayenne. This cayenne is really spicy, guys. Be careful with this, all right? There you go. And we are going to add like probably five ml of vinegar. Vinegar is optional to you guys too. If you don't, don't like vinegar, don't add it. To give it a little bit of more taste to it, we're gonna add uh, Leoparian sauce, Worcestershire sauce, just a couple drops. And that is gonna be it. Let it boil a little bit. See how much is it? It's not that much, but I think we're okay with the. Uh, I think we're okay with the wings. So now I'm gonna taste it. Taste to it. Mmm, wow. It's not that spicy. You know what? Not really, it's not that spicy. Honestly. I'm gonna have my invite tasting it so he, he gave me his opinion. Yeah, probably. No, no, está, no, está picante, no, 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 I think I'm gonna create a little bit more sauce because this is not enough. So there you go. I have the same proportion. There you go. And we are going to add. 
little bit of margarine. Same old, but a little bit of everything because, uh, yeah. There you go. And we're missing something. Okay, turn the heat down a little bit. And your vinegar. Careful with the vinegar. There you go. Okay, so this is it, guys. I'll see you and uh, when the wings are ready. That's it. Wings are going to take another, like, half an hour. And I'll see you. Okay, last and not least, I thought my uh, sauce was ready. But no, we're missing this very important ingredient. I'm going to use probably not even a gram of... There you go. Garlic powder. Not even, not even a gram. Less, less, less. All right, and that's it. Let's all this dissolve into it. And I'll see you when the hot wings are ready. See you in a bit. Okay, so we're back and our wings are ready. I'm gonna take them out of the oven. They've been there for almost uh, one hour, my friends. One hour. It depends how you like them, if you like them uh, well done. Well, or that's how you like them, but they're, they're nice and cool, so they're very hot, perfect for our hot wings. Now, here is this is our hot sauce buffalo, but I modified it, remember? Modified hot sauce. All I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna use this none, none. This is very nice because we have a dip to go with, okay. So I wanna be, I wanna do my plating really nice. You can see, I'll see you in a bit. So all it is, I'm gonna mix some of these uh, wings with the hot sauce. I'm gonna shake it, gonna uh, toss it, and I'm gonna plate it, all right? And I'm gonna do half, I'm, just, I'm not gonna mix them all with the hot sauce. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna mix the other one with salt and pepper. So we can see two types of hot, uh, wings, okay? See you in a bit uh, in at play, okay? Stay with me at Julio's Kitchen, Vancouver. Okay, so this is the end of hot wing night. And as you can see, I have two type of hot wings. See the hot wings, so the sauce that I made, that, that I modify it. And on the other side, there's hot wing, just uh, salt and pepper wings. You can do any flavor you like, my friends. Look at the, my presentation over there. We have the dip. Uh, the creamy garlic, roasted garlic dip, and I make some guacamole. None here. There you go. Very nice. And I'm going to enjoy it with uh, a beer. Now some nachos, right, for the dip. Thank you so much for being here at Julio's Kitchen, Vancouver, once again. And I'll see you next time on What is for Dinner. I leave you with my wings. Thank you once again. See you next time on Julio's Kitchen. Michael.